we're going to use epoxy primer on the car. The epoxy primer that we're using is Nason Full Epoxy, and it's direct to metal. You can see here on the, the can, it says direct to metal right on it. So it has a little bit of an acid in it, and that acid will help it etch into the metal and, and seal better and stick better to the panel. This primer needs an activator, and the mixing ratio is one to one. So it's one part this to one part paint. I've got it in my mixing cup. I actually tried to video this as I mixed it. I forgot to turn the camera off. So. so on my mixing cup, it's got the, the ratios. Uh, here's my one to one ratio. So I put four parts of the epoxy, and then four parts of the full epoxy. There's a lot of mystery around the epoxy primers. They're not really that mysterious after all, it's just a chemical. But it is unique compared to most of the other painting materials that you're going to use. Epoxy primer is one of the best primers for corrosion um, resistance on bare metal. It'll seal that bare metal. But epoxy primer is not a sandable primer. It's not a high build primer. It's strictly for corrosion resistance. I've got the technical data sheet. This comes with your paint materials, and if it doesn't, you need to ask for it. It has the uh, general description of everything, it has the mixing ratios, it has the applications and, and all the different settings for your paint tips, recoat times and everything else. But what is so important with the epoxy primer is the induction period. And it says on here, the induction period, if the temperature is above 70 degrees, it's 30 minutes. If the temperature is below 70 degrees, 60 minutes. So today here in Florida, it's a rare day. It's it's 61 degrees. So what does that mean? What does the induction time mean? What that means is once you mix your paint material, it has to sit in this can for that time period. Because it's below 70 degrees here today, we're going to let this sit for 60 minutes. We're going to let this sit for an hour before I spray it on the car. That is so important to do this with the epoxy primer. You don't want to mix this up and go spray it on the car. It's not going to work right. It tells you right here, it's not designed to do that. The induction time is very important on this, but also referring to our technical data sheet. This product, they're all different, so read the technical data sheet. This one here, you can recoat this and put a high build primer or paint, whatever you're going to do on top of this. But if you're going to do that, you got to do it within 24 hours on this, this product. Within 24 hours, you can top coat it without sanding it or without prepping it. That'll give you a nice chemical bond between this product and what we're gonna do today is a high build primer. We're gonna do a 2K high build primer. That'll be a nice chemical bond between those two materials. If you let this go past that 24 hours, you have to sand this down. It becomes so hard that you no longer have that chemical adhesion. You have to, to uh, scuff this up probably with 220, just to give your new paint something to stick to. And that's very important to know. So the two most important things is the induction time and then the recoat time. When can you recoat on this? Or how long do you have to recoat before you have to sand it? So we're gonna just let this sit. I'm gonna let it sit for an hour. I'm gonna set my timer. Just because my shop can be a little dusty and dirty and I'm gonna work on some other parts. I'm gonna put a paper towel with a piece of wood across the top. But I want to keep dust, I want to keep, keep dirt, I want to keep everything out of my material while it sits here for an hour. It's been over an hour, so now we're going to prime the car, use a respirator, and get started. Alright, so we got the epoxy primer on the car. Now we're going to put the 2K primer. This here gets mixed four to one, so this is four parts of the primer to one part of the activator. We're going to use the same type of a cup, and we're just going to look over here. Four to one is the first one, so we'll put four parts of primer and one part of the activator. This is a high solid or a high build primer, so all that stuff on the bottom is sitting on the bottom that we want to get up. Unlike the epoxy primer, the 2K primer, you can, as soon as it's mixed, you can spray it. Always read the technical data sheet, 
Pay attention to the temperature of the weather. Measure your materials and paint supplies accurately. Follow the air pressure recommendations on the technical data sheet. Make sure your flash times and recoat times are adhered to. After body work, additional primer coats, block sanding, we're finally able to get some color coats on the firewall and dashboard. Good luck on your project, and if you like this video, please like and subscribe.